magic with watercolor, managed to fix it so it's just barely noticeable now. <laughs> so one of the pieces, um, oh man, this was quite a few years ago, um, it was for Fanex, and I was competing with um, a character that had been designed, it was, it was a fan character kind of, from The Legend of Zelda, and, but it was Zelda as a hero. And so like a purple tunic and master sword and this really cool gauntlet. And I had made my master sword out of a pretty fragile material, but I was like, eh, no, it'll no work, it'll be fine. And so I'm at school and I have it on the side of my desk. This kid runs by, falls over, shattered. Completely shattered. To the, I couldn't even fix it. To the point it was just in thousands of pieces just on the ground. And I was like, great, well, what am I going to do? I'm not even at the convention, it's, it's over. And from learning from that, I was able to make a mockery crappy version of, crappy -er version of it. <laughs> but from that, I learned so much to not use that material, mm -hmm. don't take your stuff with you to school. <laughs> and it, with that process, I, I failed forward. It's, that sounds kind of weird, but by failing, I was able to learn so much more in that moment than in a month of time. It was hard, it sucked, but <laughs> I learned a lot from it. You know, speaking of failure and the Dark Crystal, the original version, uh, everything was in a different language and there were no subtitles. That was the test version. And people came out and were like, you can't, you can't do that. You can't do that to people for 90 minutes. Like, they knew what it was about. Like, like, again, those are probably the bad guys, but like, well, there's no subtitles, and it's just totally different language. So, so you know, yeah. you feel too. It's a graphic novel form now if you haven't checked it out. Mm -hmm. It's oh, really well done. 